Hey everybody, this is Jason Steffenhagen, the Associate Minister at The Well, and I am so excited to be with you on this Monday morning. Sorry I'm a little late to the screen here with you on Monday morning. I was having some technical difficulties, as they say, trying to figure out how to do this for the first time, because I'm flying solo today. There is no Lindsay behind the scenes or Tammy, um, and there's no Sherry this morning. Sherry had an appointment come up, and so... You guys get stuck with me this morning. I hope that's okay. It's fun to be with you. I'm sorry that I missed you on Sunday morning. We had some family things going on that um, needed attending to. And so I am joining you this Monday. And I got a chance to listen to Pastor Sherry's message. And I thought it was just such a important message for our time today about where are we able to show up in order to meet with Jesus, in order to meet with the Christ. And I think that is such an important question for us is where can we meet with Jesus and, and what do we do when we meet with Jesus, right? And she talked a lot about praying and that being silent and having times of solitude so that we can really sit with the Lord and, and listen to what the Lord has for us and focus on um, what God is up to in our lives. And so I really encourage you all to check out her message. You can go to the well, um, uh, the wellmn.church, the website, and check out the message, listen to it, or watch it if you didn't get a chance, because it was a really powerful one. And so, I want to highlight a few things that are coming up soon. So, coming up this week on Sunday, we will get to hear from me, which is a weird thing to do. I'm promoting myself. Um, I will be speaking this coming Sunday about the interaction that Jesus had with the disciple Thomas. Because if you remember, in the book of John... Jesus shows up to the disciples, but Thomas is not with them. And so Thomas doesn't believe that Jesus has risen from the dead. And he asks, I won't believe it until I see his hands and I see his side um, where they crucified him. And so then Jesus shows up to Thomas and has an interaction with him. And I want to talk about that because I think Thomas gets an interesting kind of label. like this. He gets this label of doubting Thomas. And I want to kind of talk about what does it mean to doubt? Well, who is Thomas? What's his story about? Why is this moment with Jesus so significant? And what does it maybe tell us about the interaction that God wants to have with all of us? So that's what's coming up this Sunday. So I'm excited for us to check that out. Also this week, really exciting stuff coming after a couple of months of talking and processing and figuring things out and working on things. Um, the team and I are releasing three new podcasts. Um, Right now, we have no podcasts, and we are going to be releasing three new ones. Um, and we're also adding uh, the sermons to uh, our podcast feed. So you can find them online. You can find them on YouTube. You can find them on the Facebook um, page. But now you'll also be able to download the messages starting next week on Monday. You'll be able to download the messages as a podcast if you miss that on Sunday. The other three podcasts that we are starting are called Local to Global, where... Lindsay will be interviewing people in the community that are doing awesome things, serving our community, and how you can get involved in those things. We're also going to be interviewing people that are doing great things around the world. So checking in with missionaries, checking in with people in the Minneapolis area, checking in with people around the country who are doing really cool things and how their ministries are making an impact in their community and how we can also potentially support those ministries as well. So checking out Local to Global. Another part of Local to Global is that when there's important news and when there's important things happening in our community or in our country or around the world, we want to sometimes comment on it and have a space to interact and to share a thought. And so Lindsay will be connecting with people about kind of the current events of our day from time to time, as well as interviewing people about the way that they are impacting God's kingdom locally and globally. The second podcast that we are going to be releasing is going to be called Deconstructing the Bible. It's going to be one that's going to be primarily hosted by me, where I'll be talking about how do we read the Bible? How do we engage God's Word? Um, we'll be looking into all kinds of really dorky stuff like literary genres and interpretation. We'll talk theology. We'll talk about um, you know biblical context, historical context. We're going to dive into some nerdy stuff, but ideally... I'll keep it fun. I'll keep it interesting. We'll talk about controversial passages to help us engage it. Ultimately, we want to encourage people and help them learn to read the Bible um, with different sets of lenses from time to time because sometimes it's helpful 
to have a different pair of glasses on when we engage God's word. And it's helpful for us to know what is this whole thing about? What's the story that God is up to and what's my role or my place in it as I read this word? The third podcast that we are starting is actually not new. It's going to be a continuation of something that was started during the pandemic called Virtual Voices. So you all have um, heard Tammy, and she's done a great job of interviewing people. She interviewed me back in the day when I was first um, coming on to the team. And so we're going to continue Virtual Voices, but we really want to just hear from everybody. We want to connect with people on a weekly basis and just hear how are they doing? What What's new in their life? What is interesting? What books have they read? What is the best restaurant they've been to? We just want to have a fun conversation with people from our church to just talk and to hear about what is God up to in your life, what's been inspiring, what's been encouraging, you know, what's been difficult that we can be praying for, what are you curious about right now? So we're going to ask all kinds of fun questions to people in our congregation just to have a space to connect with each other and to talk. Um, and so Tammy's going to be hosting um, Virtual Voices, and that's going to be coming out on Friday. So we have a fun week for you. Tuesday, Local to Global. Thursday, Deconstructing the Bible. Friday, Virtual Voices. Three new podcasts. We're going to have videos up on YouTube as well. So if you're more of a visual person, you can check them out uh, visually on YouTube. Um, And then we're going to have the podcast feeds, and we're going to put them on the website. We're going to make it really clear and easy, so that way you can go and check those out. One of the fun things that we're going to do with the podcast is that each podcast is going to be its own separate channel. So what you can do if you're new to the podcasting situation is you can go to iTunes or you can go to a different podcasting um, site that you like and you can actually follow or subscribe to individual podcasts that you want to have automatically downloaded in your feed. And so if you really, you know, say you're not a regular attender at our church, you don't come to the in-person services because you live in, you know, North Dakota or you live in Arizona, you know, you're doing a winter, you know, thing down there, you can subscribe to the, the, the Monday podcast, which will be our sermons. And so you could always have the sermons automatically downloaded. If you really are curious about what's going on locally and how you can help serve or how can you support missionaries and the things going on globally, you might want to subscribe to Local to Global. If you want to learn how to read the Bible and engage God's Word, you might want to subscribe to Deconstructing the Bible. If you just want to catch up with people from church and hear what they're up to and how life is going, um, then subscribe to Virtual Voices. Um, Or subscribe to all four and get everything all the time. But we also don't want to overwhelm people or put too much expectation on people. So if you are just wanting one thing, then just subscribe to that one thing and that will be automatically downloaded onto your phone and wherever you listen to your podcast. And so our hope is that we are creating something for everybody. Um, Maybe not everything is for everybody, but maybe one thing is for somebody. And so we want to make sure that we are serving our community well in this kind of new space, this podcasting space. And we're really excited to be doing this. Let me also say that in order to do this, we need you. We need you to be available. So if you are serving in the community, send us an email. Send me an email. You can just email jstephanhagen at the wellmn church, um, or dot church, the wellmn um, dot church. And I will be happy to connect you with whoever the host is for these different um, podcasts that we're doing because we want to know what you're up to. So if you're helping with mobility worldwide or if you're helping with um, the shelter, if you're helping anything you're doing to serve local community, maybe you're helping serve at a, at the school and the school needs volunteers and you want to help connect our church to that, that space. We want to hear about what you're up to, what motivated you to do it and how we can help. If you're Just in our church, we want to reach out to you and we want to have a conversation with you and so that others in our church can get to know you better. So don't be surprised if Tammy emails you and says, hey, can I do a quick interview with you? Now, we're not talking like four hours. We're not talking um, an hour. What we're talking about is just a short interview between like 10 to 12, 15 minutes where we're just asking some kind of fun questions. You know, what's kind of been exciting in your life lately? How have you, you know, what have you learned during this pandemic? Um, what's God been teaching you lately? Or where have you seen God in the world um, this past week? Um, what's something funny that's happened in your life that you know would be fun to share with everybody? So we just want to highlight the stories of people. So don't be surprised if Tammy reaches out to you about virtual voices. And please respond and, and jump on board with getting interviewed because 
people in our church just want to to hear from each other and connect. Um, fun things to do. So that's what's coming up this week. Podcasting. I'm preaching on Sunday. I'm excited for you guys to continue, um, you know, in, encounter Jesus with us as we see what Jesus is up to by who he connected to after the resurrection, which is the series that we're in. The last thing I want to say before I sign off on um, this Monday morning is many of you have woken up to the news or saw the news yesterday um, that a gentleman, a young man by the name of Dante Wright, um, was um, killed yesterday in Brooklyn Center. Um, He was pulled over. um, He had some outstanding warrants, and he was pulled over. um, And we don't know the details of why he got back in his car and why um, the officer um, shot him. But he was um, he was he was killed yesterday. And as you may have seen on the news, um, there has been um, some people that have gone to protest and to um, call into question what happened. Um, there's also been a fairly substantial um, kind of influx of um, Minnesota Guard and um, the sheriff's office and police officers who have um, been called upon to help keep the peace. And so um, that situation in our hearts and our prayers go out to the Wright family as they are dealing with such tragedy, losing um, a young man at the age of 20. And, um, and this is happening as we are, as we all know, are, are in the midst of the Derek Chauvin trial for the death of George Floyd. And so there is a lot happening in our world and in our city that the world is watching. And so our prayers are with everyone um, that has experienced oppression and injustice and marginalization. Our prayers are with those who are called to keep the peace and to to help create calm. We ask and we pray that um, calmness will prevail, but also that needed dialogue um, and needed change will come because there's too much pain and too much death um, that we have seen. And so we um, hope and pray um, that solutions will come and that change can come. Um, and for those that are hurting um, in our community and those that may um, find themselves listening to this, um, those that are hurting the most, we um, we believe in a God who hurts with you. We believe in a God that um, doesn't simply celebrate victories, but also mourns with those who mourn and goes to a cross um, to put an end to violence and, and, and to death. And so when death is experienced, we know that... Um, that God is is in that with you and is is right alongside. And so our hearts, our prayers, our thoughts, um, and our actions are with you. And um, may God may God be present in, in in all of our lives as we navigate the the complexity of what's ahead. Um, and so let me pray for us as we um, prepare for a a great week. As we prepare for um, another week. As we uh, yeah as we encounter Jesus along the way. So pray with me. God, we are grateful for the time and the space to connect with one another and to celebrate what you are up to. Um, We also pause to um, pray for the family of Dante Wright and the tragic loss of his life. And for all those that are um, understandably frustrated um, for what seems like um, the loss of another black man um, at the hands of law enforcement, God, we pray for those that are hurting and those that have felt historically marginalized and oppressed. Um, God, we pray for those that are called upon to keep the peace and to um, help bring um, civility to uh, streets and to communities. God, we pray that you'll be with them and protect them um, because, God, we want no more death. We want no more um, pain. Um, we, We want solutions and we want hope and we want there to be a path forward, and it comes with dialogue and patience. Um, It also comes with acknowledgement um, that sometimes systems are broken. And so, God, will you please be with everyone involved, um, 